we've spoken about the osmosis code, but you might be wondering now how to practically model an energy system in osmosis, run it, and generate some outputs. So, there are different interfaces which can be used for this purpose, such as the Model Management Infrastructure, abbreviated ASMOMANI, or LIP, which stands for the Long Range Energy Alternatives Planning System. In addition, osmosis models can also be run through the command prompt of your computer. In this case, the input data file will be a simple text file that can be written using a text editor, such as Notepad++. In all those cases, a suitable solver is required to compute the results of the model. Typically, the open source GLPK solver is recommended to run osmosis models. In this training, we will be focusing on the Momani interface. There are different versions of Momani. We recommend you to install the standalone version. For more information, please visit the link to the osmosis.org website. When setting up the input parameters for a model, there is a certain process one must follow. It all starts with data collection. Data can be related to current energy demand and projections, energy resources, existing capacity and techno-economic characteristics, constraints and fuel prices. Then the data must be processed. That means that demand curves have to be defined in a discrete way, technologies must be in some cases aggregated, demands must be projected if data is not available, etc., all in order to transform raw data into a format that can be used in osmosis. And then we are ready to start modeling. But remember, the first year of the modeling period must be a past year just so you have actual historical real data as a starting point for your model. The rest of the modeling will depend on that. Once the modeling is done, one has to interpret the results which aim at shedding light on issues such as which technologies may be phasing out, what is the optimal investment outlook, what is the total system cost, etc. More specifically, results may help answer questions like how best to electrify remote areas, what could be the implications of a more stringent regulation package, how to increase the share of renewable energy, and others. Here you can see a result graph generated by running a model in the MoMani interface. The results show the generation by technology and by year for the given system. By looking at the results, one could draw conclusions about which technologies are being introduced to the system, by when, which technologies are phasing out and by when, which technologies are dominating and others. On this tab, you can see the results for the same case as before, but a different scenario where water availability is limited. Might be because of water scarcity due to climate change or other reasons. That has implications on hydropower generation potential, whose significant share in the generation mix is then replaced by coal power plants. Thanks for your attention. See you in the next video.